Hello Scorpio and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We have beauty. Very Empress energy, beauty energy. Sometimes can be practical like beauty industries in tarot, but it can also be about seeing the beauty of life. It can be quite a... Yeah. It's interesting. I was just... There was something about narcissistic. Narcissistic. You know, I mean... Someone looking at their own reflection, you know. Uh, too much. Feeling of it's always it's always about them. Something narcissistic. Hmm. I'm getting that kind of energy, so clearly there's a reason. Let's see what else we get. Let's pull an Archangel Michael card. Mm, something about surface level stuff here. We have number 11, embrace this magical moment. You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. Let's see what we have with that Scorpio anyway. You certainly are very in a very good space to manifest what you want here. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you for the week. Angel Spirits Guides message for Scorpio. I've got three cards. We have the Ten of Wands, the World, and we have the Hermit. Three of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Seven of Cups. The Chariot. Page of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. We've got three sevens in this reading as well, which is very master number. And we've got Justice. I feel that certainly in terms of processes that you're going through here, Scorpio, it feels like you're really shining the lamp from within. The Herm is about really kind of like going within, uh, shining that lamp. Let what has led you to the, to this point, the experience that you've had, be your guide in terms of how you in truth want to move forward. It can also be about talking to somebody who is wise, who will give you a wise advice, wise choice, wise decisions, wise guidance, you know. So you could be talking to a sage as well. Because the Ten of Wands and the, the world represent endings and letting go of a weight or a burden drawing a line under a situation and stepping through to a brand new beginning now this can be somebody who is asking you to heal can we heal can we draw a line under what's gone and move on from it start over start afresh this can be that kind of energy it's not limited to love romance it could be family it could be friendships it could well be if you've been through some kind of challenging situation in a work or a work partnership situation as well. The same message applies. I feel that you're really kind of like shining the light from within and, and in truth really deciding 
whether you complete and close the door in a cycle or whether you draw the line under a situation and decide to wipe the slate clean and, and start over, you know, so or start afresh. Um, say whatever is challenged does, whatever is gone is gone. Let's draw a line under this now and step through, but also taking the learning, the experience, the knowledge, the wisdom, the lessons that you've learned along the way, you know, forward with you. So this is the energy here to heal. So you have a choice it's and the world can represent a complete closure or it can represent really kind of like completion of a cycle drawing a line under a situation and stepping through to a brand new beginning embracing healing but the ten of wands represents a weight has to be lifted i can't go on like this you know ten of wands represents is too much it's become too much of a burden it might well be that you're experiencing something this week here Scorpio where it's almost kind of like the straw that breaks the camel's back and you're just kind of like actually it's bringing it to a head deep down I need to make a choice or a decision in whether I end this completely or whether we can draw a line under this experience but move forward with the view that something has got to change something has got to give now with this energy the the beauty energy that I was getting and strongly coming through you know, you can see just like Narcissus staring into the water. We see someone staring into the kind of like the mirror there. So this just feels like it's always about them. And that's what I'm feeling the energy is. It's always about you. You always do your own thing. It's always about you. You don't think about anybody else. You don't consider anybody else. Um, might not pull their weight. You know, it might not... Um, might not be responsible, might not be dutiful, you know, whatever the scenario is here, it almost feels this kind of self-obsession and not really seeing past the end of their nose. And I feel this is a huge wake-up call if that's the case for somebody. And that's what I'm getting here. Because the Three of Pentacles and the Chariot is, can we find a way to make it work? And I promise that as you put energy into rebuilding this church or building this church, I will put the same energy into it. You know, this is the energy here of collaboration, collaborate, collaborating and fully appreciating that, you know, there is an obstacle to overcome, difficulty to overcome. There is healing here. But if we both work at it, if we're both putting the same energy and intent behind it, we can do it. We can do it. And that's the energy here. We can really pull things back together, you know? We can overcome the issue between us. Somebody asking you not to turn your back in them. Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups. This can also be to do with a child or a young person as well. It's not limited to love romance. It's not. It could be a friendship too. Um, like I said, it could be a business partner as well or a team collaboration of some kind or initiative or project. So it really can be, however, this message remains the same. I think that this is about really taking stock to consider your options here. Look at whether there is potential in this situation here for you here, Scorpio, what you've already put time and energy in, whether you want to give up on it right now and explore new pathways or whether you want to, you feel that what this person is asking of you or offering you is worth exploring, is worth continuing on that path to see if you can overcome the issues between you and start fresh. The Justice card is, again, very much linked to actions and consequences, cause and effect. So this is about coming to the right decision for you. Sometimes the right decision isn't always the easiest one either, but it's about being in truth and making some clear choice and decision for your highest good in terms of what is going to bring that sense of balance back into your life in some way. And I feel this is about, this really feels like you need to think about this long and hard. Again, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups can be even exploring your options or considering whether there is potential to heal with this person, whether they, you feel that they mean what they say. And considering the fact that you've already put time and energy in this particular relationship, whatever this relationship is, do I want to give up on it now or is it worth at least seeing where things lead? But fully appreciating with justice that actions have consequences and I feel that should you choose to heal with this person, 
this is kind of like under the umbrella that there is that accountability, you know, that should you be let down or the same thing happen again, which has happened before, there are consequences to that. You know, there will be consequences as a result of that. So it could even be setting some kind of ground rules, even re-establishing a contract, certainly if it's to do with a work partnership or business partnership, even redrafting that. But you're holding somebody to their word. That's that's fundamentally the energy here. Should you choose to, to okay, say let's draw the line and see if we can find that way forward to overcome this, heal this, this is that kind of energy. Then again, I feel that you're holding somebody to their word and seeing whether they mean what they say. This is that energy where I'm definitely feeling you, we need to see whether you mean what you say, whether it's just, you know, a promise for this particular instance that holds weight or it's empty, you know? So this is the energy here moving forward. And I feel that this is about making the right choice on that basis for you. Whether you walk away from this right now, fully considering that you've already put time and energy into a relationship, a business, a project, an initiative, whatever this scenario is. This feels like, do I want to give up on this right now? But do they mean what they say? I need to make some kind of choice or decision here. I feel deep down you know the way that you're going to go forward. This is about being in truth, letting experience be your guide. Um, connecting to a wise person as well, somebody who will give you wise advice. Uh, but it feels like there's an opportunity here. Embrace this magical moment to manifest miracles. I feel that you're dealing with an energy or a person maybe who could be a, a set of people as well, um, that really there's just this feeling of, of self-obsession, you know, not seeing past the end of the nose, not seeing beyond their own wants, needs. Um, and I feel that you've been dealing with that here. And this is really kind of like deciding whether you want to give somebody the benefit of the doubt to see how things progress here, fully understanding that there are consequences should you be let down again, or for others of you, you know, just completing it now, you know, drawing a line under it now and moving on. Manifesting a new path, which again is available to you with that energy. So this is about having some quiet time to yourself, maybe even talking to somebody who you, is, you see as a sage, somebody who will offer you wise counsel, who may point you in the right direction here as well but ultimately come to some significant choice or decision in how you move forward. Let's pull you an Angel and Ancestors Oracle card. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you for the week. You know, there is something about mirror. <laughs> there is something about mirror. I tell you, it just feels like... Uh, this energy of beauty, I mean, this says time to reflect, so it might well be a look deep within your soul, which again can be mirror guardian. But on the surface, there definitely feels like that kind of narcissistic energy that you're dealing with. Someone not seeing past their own needs, wants, desires, you know, um, and putting that first beyond everything else. So this can be that kind of energy here. But let's read this out. We have Mirror Guardian, take time to reflect. Take some time to reflect on your strengths and challenges and how far you've come. Recognise your gifts. You are a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life, to take the time to note all of your recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed and the lessons you have learned. Your angels want you to reflect on your strengths, in particular those aspects of yourself that you feel you have, have not been acknowledged by others. Offer yourself approval where it's due and know that when you give yourself credit, others will be able to as well. Strong energy of putting yourself first as well. Your own needs, your own wants. Yeah. All right.
Right, what do we have for Scorpio? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Final message, let's pull a fairy card. Three cards. Find balance, very justice energy. Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you'll have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. We have manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. And we have look in a book. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. That's what I have as your reading for the week, Scorpio. Just go within, talk to somebody. The way forward will become clear. This is the energy. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.